Okay, any questions from the audience? Mm -hmm. I have a question, but it's statement. Um, it's a statement. I remember when I saw the film 20 years ago when it came out. And when I saw the film, I so identified with the character. And I remember when I saw the film, you know, me being a staunch feminist, my friend being a feminist, saying that this film was so sexist and so misogynist. But when I saw the film, I totally identified with the character. Now, years later, and I guess different changes of my life, I find myself, when I, when I came in, I was going to say I was going to have the same feeling, yeah. but I find myself not identifying with the character like before. And so I guess what I'm trying to allude is how you feel in, you know, I guess the evolution of you in seeing the character or in how the character is really placed. Because I guess one of the things I've gotten was that this character is of a certain age in his life mm -hmm. in which I guess he had to feel that he had to express himself and he's in Doug Street is sort of like stuck there. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I just, that's what I got from seeing the film today after 20 years of seeing it is that I feel that I don't identify or the character does not, did not pull the same strings it did when I saw 20 years ago. I just find that very interesting in the sense of, I mean, the film is still the same, but I guess myself and just seeing the characters from a different light, I guess a different maturity, I, I just find that interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as you started talking, I was just thinking that when the film first started being shown, and it happened at Sundance, too, uh, there was always, it was always the same thing. There would always be three or four white women between the ages of 26 and 38 who would be at these Q&A sessions and they would be accusing me of making a film about a misogynist who clearly hated women and uh, how, where did I get off from showing this hysterectomy and that uh, the character was uh, obviously prone to uh, hating women and uh, and there were always like three or four white women between that age group for some reason and, and I ran into them like in Italy and Germany and <laughs> Montana wherever the film was shown when we first started showing it but what you just said now listen you know the people in Doug's life who have been living with him since he started doing this in the 70s, you know, believe me, they got very tired of it very quickly. And if any of you have members of your family who are into a con of any sort, living on the margins of the, you know, outside the law, whatever, whatever the whether it's drugs or ego like Doug, whatever the transgression is, you know in dealing with them day after day, month after year after decade, that it gets very... There's nothing charming about it. And so, you know, you come to tonight's screening 20 years later, and... I understand. I understand. But I hope you buy the DVD anyway. <laughs> but I'm just saying that because I was young and that excitement of being daring. Right. And forgetting that, you know, it was 20 years and coming back and being a mother and all these things, seeing that, you know. Right. You know, and I, and I find that even as it adds to the experience of seeing the film. Well, you know, when the film came out, Doug sent my mother, who was the executive producer, a registered letter saying that he was very disappointed in the film. I still got this letter. Uh, and that he thought that the film, that he was angry that we had used that phrase in the poster <coughs> campaign, I think, therefore, I scam. 
He was very upset. Of course, forgetting that he had said that. To me. <laughs> but he said that his one, you know, good feeling was that the film was so poorly made that it would never find an audience. Oh. Now he was pretty. I mean, we hardly, we barely found an audience. But I mean, I find myself still 20 years later. You know, if I, I use this example often because we came out essentially around the same time. But you know, I mean, if I go to somebody and I say, have you ever heard of Weekend at Bernie's? <laughs> yeah, I, I've got to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of Community Street? What? <laughs> you know, uh, and there again, it's that machine. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're in that machine, you get in the public eye. And I'm glad that Wow, you look like you're too young to have even been around 20 years ago. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, your, I think your comment is very on point because a good film kind of lives and breathes with the times. And as I was watching parts of it tonight, I was thinking, if you made that film today, uh, it would have been received differently and probably doesn't speak with a very happier man because he's gotten his own reality show as a result. Because his, his social dads are celebrated today. Whereas back in 1990, uh, he used to be an object for your and the audience's fascination. Yeah, like, uh, is it Dexter or Sirius? Yeah. Right. I'm like, you've got your own show. Yeah, there you go. And the, the, uh, I know the misogyny issue is one that it's often dogged with them, but I, I always thought it was often it was mainly because uh, people tend to look at films in a very superficial way, and uh, just the way the way Douglas Street's story is structured, at least in this film, it's very interesting to me that, it, that in, in some narrative sense, it's a story about uh, part of the story it shows his betrayal by his wife, certainly at the very end, and that puts me in the mind of. Uh, one of the one of the seminal films about betrayal is uh, Breathless, of course, Breathless, which which a lot of uh, trendy critics like to condemn as being a misogynist film. But generally, most most intelligent people understand that Breathless is not a misogynist film. It's a film that understands misogyny very well, and certainly Douglas Street's issues are are understood here and not endorsed. Um, and that, that again is part of the film's challenge, getting people to understand that as they, right. as they watch it, as they either laugh at it or, or maybe recoil from it. Yeah, yeah. So, so it does look brief for the time, so that's, that's an important comment.